What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's your boy Frank, and I'm back with a surprise unboxing today. Um, I say surprise, it's, it's, uh, it's a surprise to me because I ordered this stuff probably over a month ago, and it's just been sitting around, and I kind of forgot about it. Um, I haven't been fishing in a couple weeks, and it's, uh, it's a bunch of lures that I ordered. Some topwater st stuff, some soft bait stuff, some other uh, some wake baits that, that I've been looking at, um, and some stuff was on sale at Tackle Warehouse, so... Figured I'd pick it up. Um, on the other side, I uh, have Wish.com app. I know you guys all heard about that. Um, stuff from across the seas. It could be crap. It could be okay. Um, but I've actually gotten some fishing lures from, from there before. Um, and they always end up being decent. Like I got a little black popper that I... I actually, I think it's like lined up right now. Caught some fish off of it just a couple weeks ago. Last time I went, um, I got some other swim bait lures that I've got off of there. Um... It, there's, I mean, there's some. They got some decent stuff on there. And what the trick for Wish is, is look for the stuff that's. I mean, I know it's nothing's free, right? But they say, pay shipping only. So you can go on there and you can get stuff basically two dollars, three dollars for these lures. Now it does take three or four weeks or so to get there. Um, that's why I've been waiting so long for this stuff. I got the tackle warehouse box. I got this and I got this, I, and I don't I don't know what is I didn't look. So I wanted to, I kind of wanted this to be fun, so I, I didn't look at uh, what I ordered. And I, I know I ordered a couple things. I know there's a couple things, uh, what a couple of them are, but uh, I forgot what some of it was. It's been 30, 40 days probably. Um, so I know closer to 40 days for these because I've had them in my house for almost two weeks now, and I know it takes a few weeks to ship those. Um, and this one, that one, it was like a. 12 days before it even shipped so shoot that's been here for two weeks and we're talking about three weeks plus on that too so without further ado let's uh let's open some of this stuff up let's see what we got here um but yeah like i said the wish stuff you end up paying i mean you can get a bunch of good stuff if you get the good stuff i mean it's, whoops, it's luck of the draw you never know what you're gonna get i've gotten crap from there before um, but the fishing stuff always seems to be fine. Like, um, you know, I've ordered uh, like bobber stops and stuff like that. Just the stuff that you don't, you don't, I mean, it doesn't, it's not going to be the best. It doesn't have to be the best. I mean, it's going to be, no matter what it is, it's going to be bad anyways. So, we're out in the garage tonight, sitting on the front of the boat. Got, I get some, I know I got some scissors, you know, some scissors in here so I can open this stuff up. Got some boxes right there, a bunch of cool stuff. Boxes all over the place. I just went camping and thought I was going to go fishing, but it rained for a couple days straight and that didn't end up really happening. So let's see what we got. Let's just take a step back, see what we got. We've been talking for a few minutes here. Uh, first one, you probably saw the address there. It doesn't matter. You can come over and visit if you want. Let's, uh, I, I think this is just line. So I got a bunch of braid, I remember, because they had like a bunch of buy one and get one type deals. So I was just got a bunch of braid. So this is a, it's called Target, was it? Asking Fish, PE braided line, infinite power four times. So this is 15 pound, all came in different colors. So there's a 15 pound, and I think these were like $3 or something like that. It's 100 meters. So 100 yards for like three bucks, 15 pound braid. I got so a big pile of garbage when I'm done. So here's some white. That's eight pound braid. Got it. Some bigger stuff. There's another eight pound and white. Eight pounds a good small bait, little poppers, things like that. Got a red which is 30 pound. Use that for flipping and whatnot. Put that in the trash. Now this, that has some lures in there, so let's see what's going on. Might have some better light here. Got my, I got my address on that one too. It ain't no big deal. Oh geez. A bag and a bag and a bunch of different bags. That's pretty sweet. So, let's start off. There's some 
Lures and boxes, lures and boxes, something. Is there more line that order? No, there's no way I ordered that. Did they ship me double the line? If this is the same exact thing. There's another eight. I, there's no way I ordered this much. I wouldn't have. I think it was like $3 a piece. I think I spent $12 on Yeah, there's another blue. Another 15 I think they messed up. If they, yeah, there's, there's, I gotta go check my order again, but I think they messed up. Oh, jeez, look at this. This one is just crushed. Good thing it's lying. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I guess I can't complain. I think it's free. Because <laughs> I don't remember. There's no way I bought that many. Unless it was a 200-yard lot or whatever, but... Let's see what kind of lures we got in here. This one feels smashed. This one might be broken. Well, let's open the one that I think is might be broken. Get that out of the way. Oh, jeez. That's a big boy popper right there. Holy smokes. I gotta be better at... Uh, I'm gonna put this this way. Throw that trash in the ground. Got a lot of light there. Holy cow. That's pretty sweet though, man. Jeez, it kind of looks like a looks like a trout of sorts. I don't know if that's gonna be any good for. I mean, jeez, wow, that's got a nice feel to it. Paint job's not too bad either. Hooks, let's see the hooks. Whew, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's not too, uh, Maybe the hooks aren't too good. But the rest of this looks... I mean, it looks well made. Probros? This is one of those buy one, get one deals where you pay like $2 and they ship you this. Like, the eyes on it are sweet. It's a popper. I know I was... This, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Proberos? 3D series hard baits, quality tackle. So that's going to be good for, I mean, you know, right above the weed beds, popping it. I mean, I mean it looks like a trout, obviously. I, but, you know, maybe it looks like a frog, too, to a bass. I mean, it's going to look like a white belly is what it's going to look like. And it's going to make some noise on top of the water. So I'm excited to try that out, actually. That's a bigger popper, too. I mean, that's a... It's a little bit bigger. I don't know how long it is. Doesn't really say. But that thing, man, that popping and railing, I'm excited. I'm excited to use that. That's sweet. Just gonna slide that back in here for now. Put it off to the side. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe it's a good one. I don't know. This one's real light. Whoops. Well, can't see nothing on there. I don't see. See? That's where it came from. If you know whatever that language is, y'all know what that means. I don't know what that means. There you go. There's another popper. Holy smokes. That's the color I ordered. It had to have looked different. It had to have looked different online. Because I don't know if I would have... I don't know. We'll see. Red bottom. I mean, the top looks cool, black and green. I'm happy with the black and green. The red bottom kind of... I mean, maybe, maybe it'll work. We'll see. I mean, it's mine now. Ooh, that's nice. That's kind of like a matte paint job. What's this? A little fin on there? Keeps it straight, maybe? It's a straight popper? It's another popper. I was in the I was in the top water mood here today, this day. All right. Moving out. Moving out. What is that one? Yeah, man. So, what? It's July, a couple days before July 4th. 4th is on Sunday. So, these are sweet. These are the ones that I ordered before. And I thought they were just going to be pieces of crap. I was going to order a pink one. And a, uh, I don't know. I actually got them right here. A silver one, a pink one, and a red one.
I ordered this one for ice fishing so I could jig with it ice fishing. And then they had this color too, which is sweet because that red head and that silver of the white body, that is a pike magnet. Anything red and white, red and silver type is a pike magnet. And then you have your obvious fire tiger or perch or not perch, I mean, or whatever they call this one. I'm pretty sure it's a fire tiger. I mean, like, this is Fire Tiger. And that's a modified Japanese version of Fire Tiger. But they got good weight to them, and they swim nice. So I'm excited to use these, too. Excited to use any lure. Lures are sweet. Lures all day. Nothing else in there? All right. So uh, it's July 4th, so we're getting into the, the heat of the summer now. So... A lot of the fish are obviously done spawning. Bass and the bluegill are moving into where the bass were, and the bass were going in the deeper water. So you're going to catch a lot of those bass sitting on the, the edges of the water lines and stuff. Not the water lines, but the uh, the weed lines, and just where the drop-offs are, outside of where their beds are, catching those uh, those sleeping bluegill, those uh, those bluegill that aren't paying attention, the smaller bait fish that are going up into the shallows. Um, they're going to be... Uh, Hunting those, so poppers off the top of the uh, the water. I got another where's this fire tiger again? Uh, yeah, that says fire tiger, right? Uh, that's sweet, excellent lure. This is a uh, this is like a stick bait, like a walking bait. It's a pretty cool logo. Hundred millimeter, sixteen gram. It's a floater for sure. Uh, just a walking bait, big boy. It's got to be like a, a frog, some type of frog, bullfrog, or whatever pattern. Red eyes, always like the big red eyes. And it's light, but it's got good hooks on it. This one definitely has some good hooks on it. So that's going to be sweet to use, too. Jeez, man. So a lot of these are bigger, though. So, I mean, that's what. I mean, you're going to get that because these fish, the warmer water uh, in the middle of summer. They are going to be hunting for bigger baits because, I mean, if you can get one big fish or one big frog um, in this hot water, I mean, they're, they're more active. So um, if they can get one big meal as opposed to chasing minnows all damn day, that's what they're going to do. Um, and it's easier for them and it's more preferable for them. That's what they'd rather do. They'd rather have one big meal as opposed to a bunch of chasing minnows around all day. I mean... I don't blame them. Tackle Warehouse. Like I said a few weeks ago, I know I got some wake baits in here. Two or three wake baits. And I know I got a couple of soft plastics set. It looks like I got a popper too. So here we go. There's the list. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a list. There's a list. Bunch of stuff on there. Let's go through it real quick. And love these videos. <laughs> Especially when they're mine. There you go. There's a KVD Strike King. Just a, a wake bait. It'll sit a couple inches under the water. I mean, maybe up to a foot or so. Chartreuse. Black back. Bass killer. I mean, that's a big body. They're going to chase it. Gonna love it. Gonna love it. There you go. There's another popper. Silver and black. Lunker hunt. Crush. And all of this, all of these that I got right here, all of these were on some type of sale. Like they were either five dollars and down to three or some some type of like 25-35 percent deal. Um, so this is cool. I'm excited about this. Got the gold stripe on the side. Um, the black kind of mirror. It's it's and you can hear it. It's gonna be sweet. Can't wait to try these out. Man, so sweet. And here we go. The storm, the chug bug. This is the this is the big dog right here. The gold with the red mouth. All bigger baits for summertime. Pulling these chug bugs and these walkers and everything right over top of those weed beds. These wake baits right over top of the weed beds. Um, you got all that. Um all that attention at the top of the water and you got your co-angler or you know you switch rods up and then you start flipping um 
you know, I, some, I would say some natural colors, maybe some dark, you know, some purples, some, you can use June bugs. Um, I always like the natural green pumpkin, um, that type of stuff with the flake, the red flake in it. Um, always good choices, natural colors for, uh, for this time. Stick baits, um, little, uh, um, shoot, man, anything, any type of worm, Texas rigged up, um, free rigged up, which is basically a Texas rig. Um, any, you're, you're gonna have, you're gonna, you're gonna hit them from the top, you're gonna hit them from the bottom, and those wake baits floating in the middle. Um, good stuff, real good stuff. There you go. There's another wake bait that I got. It's good gold. Got the pattern on it, black top. Real sweet, real cool looking. Yep, 2.5 wake bait right there. These are all bigger too, cause like I said, the fish are looking for those bigger meals. There's another Lunker Hunt Crush. I'm actually going to get a deal on these. Must have got to buy one, get one or some something on that. But that's the, uh, what is this? I think it's like a Bulldog a Lily Pad. This is the silver side. Floating. So these aren't too big. These are cool. These are a little bit smaller. But you see the colors I'm going with here? I'm going with like the, the, the green and blacks. I'm going with the chartreuse and black, the gold. Um, these other ones are kind of... And pretty much everything is, is that color, which is not too bad. There's another big, that's uh, that's another chug bug. Um, that's the black and silver with the orange belly. Uh, what's that one called there again? The Tennessee Shad, yep. Um, these are all bigger ones. I thought I had some smaller things in here, but I don't. There's another one, black and gold. Uh, same type of deal. There's another, it's a... Uh, kind of close to the same but this one has the orange belly this one's called the pro gold and this one is the bluegill so bluegill is perfect for obviously catching bass in the shallow waters right by the bedding areas um i mean all of these are going to do the same thing and it's going to be catch me some fish um, i did get some of these little weird ones they're chartreuse and clear bubba shads they're called bad bubba shabs uh, double A's longer choice, three inch. I wanted some smaller ones for some swimming, um, just to increase the body uh, on either a um, oh, man. I mean, swim heads. Got some of these, so these will go on here if I want. These are the skinnier ones because I was planning on putting uh, like flukes and stuff like that on there. Um, but oh, what was I thinking? Like a spinner bait, you can put this on. You can put this on a uh, just a jig and swim a jig, um, which gives it a bigger presentation, which is nice in the summer. Like I said, warm water, bigger baits, and so just some chartreuse. Uh, uh, what are they? Just uh, flukes, salty, super flukes. Some zooms. Zooms are cool. They're like 250, real cheap, but good quality. I've always, I've never had a problem with the Zoom brand. Uh, what else I got in here? Some more of these boys. Fall Spice, this is called. This looks good. Kind of like a crawdad type color. Um, they call it Fall Spice. Uh, it's not really good for the, the summer, but I would definitely use this. Uh, swim bait. Um, like a swimming jig type deal over the, uh, the summertime or in the fall time. And then I got some other big belly ones. There's only three in this pack. Um, but these are pretty sweet too. These, you know fall time I would say um, you'd use something like this on a swim bait you just put a head on there or you can use it on a uh, um, a swimming jig perfect for it but I got two more things down there yeah these are sweet these are just little fork baits this one's called lime tiger uh, chartreuse and you know dark on top which is just something to put on uh, you know a little, little mini uh, jig head or something like that um, no big deal. Just put it on there and you kind of just drag it across the bottom and those small mouth will snatch that up. And then the other color where these ones called blood gold, just the gold with the black, uh, red flake in it, black back. Kind of look like a, I don't know, bloody walleye or something like that. But these are sweet. Just rig them up however you want. Texas rig worm hook you know jig head some type of jig head 
Uh, that's usually where I go. What else we got in here? Sticker. There you go. Tag a warehouse. Not too bad. I'm impressed. I know what I paid for this stuff. Um, and it's a lot. I mean, boom, 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 boom. All these guys. Real excited to get out there and use this stuff. Real excited. Hopefully, I'll get some videos out. Uh, catch us a fish on this stuff. The double chug bugs, three more wake baits, two of these. I must have had some deals going on. Two of those, two of those. And then from the other side of the pond, uh, another kind of walking bait, another little bit bigger popper, and the lunker popper right there. Not a lunker popper, but it's bigger. Um, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you guys. I know it's a 20-minute video, but heck, I'll look at fishing gear for 20 minutes anytime. You let me know what your video is called, and I'll check out your 20-minute video of some fishing gear. Um, if you like this, let me know. If you don't, shh. Subscribe, like it, appreciate you watching. Catch you on the water. Later on.